Hey guys, the former president Muhammad Buhari has pledged his support for President Bola Tinubu's fight against corruption. And he isn't, isn't ready to defend any corrupt. He's not ready, according to him, to defend any corrupt official found wanting in his administration. Noting that his hands are clean, Buhari was quoted by Vanguard has given Tinubu the go-ahead to do whatever he needs to do to recover all the funds allegedly stolen during his administration. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. The former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, about to betray his friends, who stole public forms, sent strong message to Tinubu. The former president, Muhammad Buhari, has pledged his support for President Bola Tinubu's fight against corruption and is not ready to defend any corrupt official found wanting in his administration. Noting that his hands are clean, no, Buari was quoted by Vanguard as giving Tinubu the go-ahead to do whatever he needs to do to recover all the funds allegedly stolen during his administration. Buari's statement was highlighted in an investigation report published by Vanguard on Saturday. The former president said even his friends should not be spared and that everyone should be investigated. The investigation, a report by Vanguard, disclosed that President Bola Tinubu is on the verge of recovering over $14 billion of looted funds traced to a few individuals in Buhari's administration. A source in the presidential villa cited by the publication made reference to an investigation by Jim Obaze, the special investigator appointed by President Bola Tinubu and confirmed that billions of dollars have been traced to certain individuals with just two people possessing over $14 billion of looted public funds. Imagine. It could be argued that the major highlight of the investigation report is, is the questions asked by the source privy to what is going on according to the publication. One of the sources said, some of the figures you get to hear are troubling. What does anybody want to do with $6 billion? What does anybody want to do with $8 billion? These figures are something else. Another source asks, is it that some, some of these people were the ones to to whom funds for the purchase of our crude oil were paid? Did they pay these people directly for crude oil sales or what? Record that Buhari campaigned in 2014 on the promise to fight corruption uh, headlong and bring it to his knees. He claimed that he had a reputation as no-nonsense leader with a hard stance against corruption during his military rule in the early 1980s. He also vowed to tackle corruption in Nigeria's public sector, which was plunged by endemic grafts and mismanagement. However, since he assured, since he assumed office in 2015, Buhari's anti-corruption war has been uh, married by controversy and inconsistency. The case of the suspended Accountant General of the Federation, Idris Ahmed, who allegedly stole 109 billion, out of which he has returned 30 billion, according to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, is still under discussion. Hmm. I kept saying the money the government is looking outside to borrow is in the hands of politicians and looters. Let the president go 
after them with all sincerity, they will get those money back. Can corruption fight corruption? I pray they will not collect bribe and swift investigation under the carpet. Does voting count in Nigeria? If it does, Mutunubu have been sitting as a current president. What's their names? We want to know their names. Who are these individuals? And the government should stop hiding who they are. We want to know the those people who do not want Nigeria to progress. Because we doing the doing this they are doing, they are dragging us back. We are not going front. We are not moving forward. They are dragging us back to where we don't know. Nigeria is has come from, I don't even know the position Nigeria was, but as it is right now, you be like, say, don't fall into inside ditch. Even the rope, when they, they try, they, they try to drag to drag a mat right now, it's, it's still sinking. Because we have leaders who do not have conscience. Look, just listen to the amount they are looting. Is it sensible for you to even loot money you cannot even spend? You go, you go, you loot all this money. You not go use them before you die safe. It's not. It's, it's, it, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. You loot money. You hold this money. You keep them for your tenth generations to come. Why hunger has taken over the, the the land, and you are calling yourself a leader? What makes you a leader? What qualifies you to be a leader? What qualifies you to be, to be a leader? When you open your eyes and you steal the masses' money without conscience, your conscience, not they tell you everything they do, no good. You just want only yourself. That is why they do election in Nigeria, uh, do or die, because they know what they are benefiting. They are not coming to redeem you know, the country. You see, all these things, they are just saying it. Very soon, you're not going to hear them again. Now, today, they begin fight corruption in Nigeria. I better make a job into another news. I better make a drop on for you, all my people. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us for the first time, please uh, subscribe. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.